Everyone loves a good sandwich, right? About half of Americans eat a sandwich every day. But the question is, are they good for your health? Dr. Rob's in the house with the possible dangers of deli meats and how to quit cold turkey. How to quit cold -dum 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 -dum. turkey. <laughs> yeah, sandwiches. Who doesn't love them? I mean, yeah. 50% of Americans eat one every day. What's your favorite sandwich? You know, I'm uh, partial to turkey sandwiches. Turkey? Yeah. Mm, I like those Italian, you know, the... The hot cap of coal with the prosciutto and a little bit of ham, right? And Get maybe all some sharp provolone, then a little bit of vinaigrette, olive oil. But you're here Toasted. today. Love you're em. here today to go ahead Love and uh, find a cure to the cold cuts. To the cold cuts. The jokes yeah. continue, ladies and gentlemen. We've been working on them all morning long. I'm sorry. Let's no, go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a segment that leads itself to a lot of, a lot, a lot of jokes, right, and puns. Okay. Well, you know what? They, they can be a little harmful because there's a lot of stuff. Um, you know, like there's nitrates. There's a bunch of stuff inside meat that we're not entirely clear on, but you really need to be aware. You're, You're exactly right. And you have to be careful. You know, sandwiches, while they are fun to eat, you really don't want to be eating them every day because there's un unwanted unintended consequences to eating these kinds of sandwiches on a daily basis, especially the processed meats, which are full of, like you said, nitrates and nitrates, um, which are all kinds of salt. And these salts can add into all kinds of salt overload. So people that have problems with like heart failure, it can really push them into heart failure. So things that we want to know, that we do know about uh, processed meats is can increase your risk of cancer, colon cancer in particular. We see increased incidence of diabetes uh, and then sodium overload, which can affect heart failure patients. But the excess carbs that come from the bread, from eating too much bread, can be a problem for unhealthy weight. For people with blood pressure problems, it can increase their blood pressure. So eating the processed meats, the unclean meats that are full of the uh, uh, nitrates can lead to a lot of these problems. So it's best not to eat these on a regular basis. The other thing is for pregnant women, the infectious organisms that you can find in processed meats. In particular, there's botulism, but Listeria monocytogens, which for pregnant women isn't a good idea. And the thing about that pathogen is it's resistant to cold. So you put your lunch meats in the refrigerator and you think right. that they're going to be safe, but really one of the things is after three to five days, they're really no good because if it, does, if it is infected with listeria, that listeria can still grow even though it's refrigerated. So that's Very why scary. pregnant women really want to avoid lunch meats during their pregnancy. Well, let me ask you this. Say you go to the grocery store. You know, is it a good idea? I know that I do this. If you, they usually have like a little pamphlet of all the different kinds of meats they have. What do you want to look for when you're actually going through, you know, say you want turkey, you want ham, like anything in particular that you really want to just kind of focus in on? That's a great question, Zach, and we have answers for that. What you want are the unprocessed meats, the oven roasted meats, the ones that use uh, preservatives like celery salt, beet salt, sea salt. These are much healthier options or, and organic options so that you don't get all the exposure to all the salt. So the freshly roasted are a great way to go, and, and most of the stores have all these different options instead of the highly processed meats that are pre-packaged, you usually see in the refrigerator section. Right. Go to the deli counter and get the ones that are oven roasted. Much better options with lower sodium, and they're using much healthier preservatives in the sense of the celery salt, the sea salt, or beet salt. Much better ways to go. Yeah, it could cost just a li maybe a little bit extra, but hey, at the long run, you know it's going to be doing wonders for your body. If anybody wants to learn more about you, uh, possibly the different treatments that you offer, and just really just... Just for peace of mind, where can they do that? Renewhealth.com. Renew just remember, health. limit your sandwiches. Keep it to maybe like one a week, but definitely don't want to be eating sandwiches on a daily basis. Well, what about one now? Because you brought a turkey. Yeah, I brought so three. I, I, I might just take off with yep. this one. Go ahead. All right, Dr. Rob, it's always a pleasure.